Well, Dente Rigamontis. I'm Review Cultist. And I'm Dr. Leviathan. And I'm Mikey. The E stands for evil. And we're here to discuss those internet stories, most creepy and most pasta. <laughs> Top of the morning to you, laddies. It's the week of St. Paddy's, so we thought we'd do something a little different. <laughs> and that's all of my Irish accent I'm going to give. <laughs> Good, because that was painful. Yeah. Tar, uh, I'm a pirate. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, we're I didn't realize that St. Patty's and Talk Like a Pirate Day fell on the same day this year, but hey. <laughs> yeah. Um so we're doing three micro pastas because I can't couldn't find a full length creepy pasta that had anything to do with St. Patty's or Ireland. Should have um, just watched Leprechaun. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so we're going to be doing Red Man, Unlucky Charms, and Fear Gortach. Um, <clears throat> so we'll start off with the Red Man. The Red Man is pretty much just an info dump about um, the Fardarig, which translates roughly to the Red Man. Um, it's a type of fairy le- similar to the re- Leprechaun, uh, but it's a lot more like insidious and cre- and evil. Basically, um, it's like if the uh, fighting Irish mascot yeah. was in a fighting game, it would be his <laughs> alternate costume. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh my god. Um, yeah, because it, uh, it's a malicious spirit that uh, plays gruesome practical jokes on people. Um, it wears a red coat and a cap, so it's sometimes mistaken for a red cap. However, unlike that murderous fairy um, from Scottish folklore, apparently, uh, it uh, doesn't need to kill in order to keep existing, so it just does it for fun, I guess. Um, and then it says that he is believed to be related to the Cluricon, another cousin of the Leprechaun, who was believed to be a perpetually drunk and a guardian of cellars, who would haunt dishonest servants and drunkards. So that's really all we get for the Red Man, which is on Creepypasta.wiki, which is. Absolute bullshit because it's not not a story. Yeah, like <clears throat> it's it's a cool. <laughs> it's, it's an encyclopedia entry. Yeah. That's really yeah. what it is. Yeah. Uh, so I don't know why it's on there other than because like if you're gonna use the, if you're gonna put it on a creepypasta wiki, make a fucking creepypasta. Well, exactly. Like, um, and there is no na- there is no person to it, so it, look, it might have just been archived onto the creepypasta wiki. But still, yeah. it seems yeah. like a silly thing to be on there. Yeah. Um, yeah, seems like a super silly thing to be on this show. Well, uh, yeah. yeah. Well, you know, it was St. Patty's. I was trying to find things for it. Okay, oh, and there is more information that I okay. dug up from the interweb. Go for it, Mike. A.K. Wikipedia. <laughs> <laughs> it's a credible source, damn it. <laughs> um, Colleges still use it, use it now. Yes, so. yes. So the fear dirg because it's as pr- that's how it's pronounced oh. F E A R and then D E A R G. Oh. Hmm. Um, they are also sometimes known as rat boys, as they are said to be rather fat, have dark, hairy skin, long snouts, and skinny tails. Huh. Which sort of throws. Whatever you were thinking of from that <laughs> creepy pasta section out the window, it's like, oh, it's like a leprechaun. No, no. That, that's even, man, so that's how I, like so that entry now, is just even. It is a cousin of the leprechaun, yeah. But that's as far as it goes. Um, and he busies himself with practical joking, especially with gruesome joking. Yeah. Which th- the example they gave was replacing babies with changelings. Okay, so just. And they, trafficking, they're also said to have some connection to nightmares. Oh. Hmm. See, there's a... So, in other words, this is super not supposed to be on here because not only is it, A, not a story, it's also just wrong. Yeah. And not as creepy as Wikipedia. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, the creepy pos- yeah, the Wikipedia page enters a lot more... There's a lot more, in- like, a lot more details that would be really useful for a creepypasta. Mm-hmm. Um... But yeah, you could, I could see it being used for like 
a couple a couple of ideas like I get well really the only things that come to mind are like somebody trying to get their kid back because this thing fucking took their baby and sh- yeah but then you're just doing labyrinths. That's true, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it, it really just kind of boils down to, like, it's like, oh, well, you could do a story like this movie or this movie. <laughs> All right. All right. So, I don't, do you have, guys have anything else to import for the Red Man before uh, we move on? Um, no. Yeah. We've covered I mean, everything. There's no story. <laughs> yeah. So there's not really anything to, Critique. You know. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, the writing was horrible. I mean, where was the story? <laughs> Aww. Well, I mean, the fact that the Wikipedia entry is, you know, creepier than the creepypasta wiki entry is just kind of silly. Hilarious. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just kind of silly. <clears throat> I like to throw around the term ironic, but uh, <laughs> there it is. <laughs> yeah. So we move away from the red from the red man and go toward unlucky charms which is not so much a creepy pasta as it's a troll pasta creepy pasta um or a troll pasta so it's back in 1962 in the early morning of St. Patty's Day in a house in New Jersey this boy is sleeping and his alarm wakes uh, wakes him up and he looks at the uh, beside his bed and there's this dark shape and it's essentially the cartoon leprechaun from, like, the Lucky Charm cereal box, except slightly more devilish, um, including green horns off the side of its head. And um, it offers him a bowl of... It's his top, uh, top of the morning to you. And offers a bowl of, uh, of unlucky charms. And so the kid takes a couple... Uh, starts eating some of them, and then realizes that they're skulls. Um, the little uh, cereal... And uh, is gasps at it, and then as he gasps at it, the bowl of like unlucky charms in the, uh, and the spoon and the Irish monster vanish after it crackled, uh, or after it cackled. Um, and the boy suddenly found a four-leaf clover-shaped note on his pillow that read, "Happy St. Patrick's Day! I'll return next year." By the by the way, with my with me arms, carrying more unlucky charms in green slime. <laughs> End of pasta. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, it, it definitely lives up to the nature of troll pasta. <laughs> See, I I disagree with that because, like, yeah, it's dumb and stupid, but it, it's not like it, it's just lazy. It's not like intentionally bad. It's not trying to get a reaction out of you. Like a troll is. Okay. Like an internet troll. Yeah, yeah. They, they, you know, they do what they do to get a reaction. This isn't going to get a reaction out of anyone. It's just... <laughs> that, that's all it is. It's just, you know, it's just lame. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> also, I don't know why it's, you know, in 1962, unless <laughs> maybe that's when the creator of Lucky Charms was a kid. Because that, you know... Might make so it's like a that, uh, this that, weird creepy <clears throat> pasta did, origin. Did anyone <laughs> check when Lucky Charms was created? No. <laughs> did you? No. Nope. I'm just thinking of that now. It's like, were they around then? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Gotta take a quick in and a break for a second. <laughs> Lucky Charms, 1964. <laughs> uh, yep. 1964 was when it was introduced. So, in other words, it's. So it didn't exist at the time, and it's two years early. Well, it's too shortly after the events of this for this event to have inspired the creator of Lucky Charms to create Lucky Charms, because he'd still be a kid. Yeah. yeah. So, <laughs> maybe that's what they were going for, because, I mean, that seems like it would be, you know, kind of neat, but... Their math doesn't work out. Mm. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> that that would actually make it prob. If that was what they were going for, and their math had have worked out a little bit better, that would probably make this the creepiest pasta of the week. <laughs> probably. Because <laughs> it's like, oh shit! It's just skulls. But they're ground up and yeah, made to look like cereal. That's what I Perfect. thought it was going with. Yeah. Yeah, but then it just doesn't even go there. Yeah. Which again might be the nature of like why this is called a, why it's considered a troll pasta is because it's 
it, I don't know, like, I'm thinking, like, maybe it's deliberately trying to, like, piss off people who like creepypasta, and they read this, and it's like, what the fuck, this isn't creepy at all, blah, blah. Okay, maybe, but, I don't know, it's just, I've seen actual creepypastas <laughs> that were way, way worse than this. Can you name one? Jeff the Killer? Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> yep. Laughing Jack? Was that the one? Well, I mean, that one wasn't good. No, it wasn't. And, like... <laughs> This one's just bland. It's not yeah. bad. It's just bland. Hmm. Like, yeah, it's math doesn't add up if that's what they were going for, but we may be reading something into this that's way, way more. too much. I mean, I just couldn't think of another reason why they'd have the year 1962, because, I mean, might as well just be last year. Yeah. yeah. But, yeah, this isn't bad, even though it should, in theory, be purposefully trying to be bad. It's just bland. Hmm. It's bad with extra consonants. Yeah. I was like somebody writing down a dream they had. Oh, that was a nightmare. Better write that down and then... And then forgetting it in another dream. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Alright. <laughs> so we move on Moving with Pierre Gortach. <laughs> mm, Gordita. Uh, so, yeah, it talks about the... Um, Irish legend of Fair uh, Fair Gortach, uh, which translates roughly to Hungry Grass, and is believed that a, uh, be cursed by malevolent spirits, patches of dead grass, if you cross it, um, you uh, are doomed to perpetual hunger. Um, and then it goes on about how, like, this guy, one of his relatives, um, who had come from, uh, Ireland, uh, told them about a equivalently of a ghost story or something. Um, and the story co- concerns a man, his dog, and his son, uh, all of whom are native to the land and explore the more remote areas of Ireland um, that the tourists don't tend to frequent. They enjoy their treks, um, and he sh- uh, the man shares stories with his son. One day the man walks across one of these patches of grass and is suddenly felt uh, feels pain in his stomach. His son comes over to see what's wrong, the dog as well, but the dog... Or sorry, the dog, however, barks repeatedly and would not go near the patch of grass. Um, the man soon heads home with his son and then starts eating everything because he can't. He has this un, unending hunger, insatiable, if you will. Yes, um, but no matter how much he eats, he becomes more and more skin and bones, um, and he begins. Uh, the son begins to suffer. So. Uh, eventually, uh, child services come in and take the son away, and they call doctors for the da- for the for the father. And uh, even while he's in hospital, he's still wasting away until he eventually dies. Um, and then the son um, is who is devastated by this um, and ha- faces an uncertain future as his mother has been long been absent from his life. This left authorities uh, with little choice but to put him in a foster home until he could be adopted. Uh, A high price to pay for stepping on a patch of grass in the remote corners of the world. That's how the story ends. Um, yeah, like, I don't know. It, like, I mean, it's, again, the, the fear gotach, like, the hungry grass is an interesting idea for a story, and this definitely feels like just, like a like a ghost story that somebody would tell you, but that's a problem. It feels, there's not a whole lot of, like, there's no climax really to it aside from, or like there is a climax, but it's like kind of watered down or muddled. Well, but. the problem with this again is that it feels more like a, like encyclopedia entry. And this, the story <coughs> of this one isn't a story. It's just like a recap of a story. Yeah. You know, because it's really just an entry, not a, you know, it's not, trying to be a creepy story. It's just trying to get you the main bullet points of an other of another story because this encyclopedia entry comes with an example. Yeah. That's really, you know, the big thing. So again, which should again be on. begs the question why it's on with uh, the creepy pasta wiki, but whatever it is, yeah. these people well, I mean the people who decide what's on that website are just fucking silly sometimes with what they choose and choose, don't choose. Mm-hmm. What ends up on crappypasta.com versus what ends up on creepypasta.com, as we found out last time we did a crappypasta. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, they're just, they're not really creepypasta material, and yet they're on the site. Yeah. So. Yes. 
And I did some research for this one, and lo and behold, Wikipedia. Uh, <laughs> of course. Um, I'm ready to get my pants in terror. <laughs> uh, well, this is more uh, historical information, because this is uh, more of a folk tale from the late 1800s, which was created when there was a famine going on. So, in that essence, if you take it as a warning, don't go out trekking long distances because there's not going to be enough food when you get back and you're going to be hungry. <laughs> uh, fair enough. Actually, I was wondering if this had anything to do with the famine. Yeah, so that's essentially where it originated from. And then there's an alternate version which relates to anyone walking and is struck with temporary hunger. To safely cross, one must carry a bit of food to eat along the way, such as a sandwich or several crackers, and some beer. Hey, mention a beer. High five. Say <laughs> <Safe> Valley's Day. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> way to go, Mikey. East End's free. <laughs> Can't be Irish without beer. <laughs> it's a prerequisite. <laughs> All right. So uh, I'm just going to go ahead and say that all around we would not recommend any of these because these are not creepypastas. Yeah. <clears throat> no. Like, again, they're good material for creepypastas. But, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I don't understand why they were on the site. <clears throat> yeah, it, it's... Yeah, there's honestly nothing to them. Mm -hmm. Like, the one that does have a story... Well, I guess two of them have a story. But the one on Creepypasta Wiki that has a story isn't really a story. It's just... You know, a recap of an account. Yeah, and it's bland and dry, just like you know the rest of it. Yeah, it's too tech, or it's too uh, just like analytical. It's just like, well, here's the inf here's the information we found off Encyclopedia Britannica, <laughs> <laughs> or whatever encyclopedia you chose, and um... brown. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> well. um... Guys, do you want? Do you, Mikey, you had, you did say you met, you did find a semi-relevant <laughs> review pasta this morning. Uh, well, if I recall correctly, the name of the creepy past was very Irish sounding, with Shannon O'Bannon. She's a bonny lass, you know. <laughs> All right, that's two of us now that have done an Irish accent. <laughs> well, I needed it. Yeah, <laughs> clearly. Sarah O'Bannon. Yeah, it's on creepbus.com. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Wow. That is and a it's short like creepy this long. <laughs> uh, yep. All right. Yeah, that's it. It's a short one. Oh, okay. We got four of them this week. <laughs> well, I'm going to try and attempt to show you off on the reading. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, so this is Sarah O'Bannon, not Shannon. Uh, do, do, do. Coffins used to be built with holes in them, attached to six feet of copper tubing and a bell. The tubing would allow air for victims buried under the mistaken impression that they were dead. Harold, the Oak Ridge gravedigger, upon hearing a bell, went to see if it was children pretending to be spirits. Sometimes it was also the wind. This time it wasn't either. A voice from below begged, pleaded to be unburied. You Sarah O'Bannon? Yes. What? <laughs> I just... Yeah. <laughs> okay, so it's 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 Harold the Gravedigger saying, "You Sarah O'Bannon?" Yes, the voice answered, uh, assured. See that it's all in one line. It's actually all in one <laughs> sentence. Oh, <laughs> Jesus! Which is what confused the piss out of me. So, yeah, Sarah answers yes. You were born on September seventeenth, eighteen twenty-seven. Yes. The gravestone here says you died on February 19th. No, I'm alive. It was a mistake. Dig me up. Set me free. Sorry about this, ma'am, Harold said, stepping on the bell to silence it and plugging up the copper tube with dirt. But this is August. Wherever, Whatever you is down there, you ain't alive oh. no more. You ain't coming up. I think I've heard... I think actually I have read this like my, years back. I think I remember reading about this. Back when it was Sharon? Yeah. <laughs> <You're> Sharon. <laughs> Same thing. It was both. Yeah. Oh, man, that is creepy. Oh. Yeah, I think that beats every single other one out of the water right now. Yeah. Holy yeah. shit. Oh, damn it. Yeah, so, uh... 
Well, I mean, see, you say it beats every, all the other ones out of the water because you're so floored by it. I say it beats all the other ones out of the water because something actually happened. That's true. <laughs> hey, some stuff happened in Fear Gorbach. Gortach. No, some things happened in the history of that one. All right. Um, yeah. Wow. This is definitely a much better one. It's also, honestly, with how short it is, the fact that it has that one horrible fucking <laughs> writing mistake, yeah, that shouldn't have been there. Because, I mean, it take like two seconds to fucking proofread this thing, and to catch something so horrible, it would also, again, take about two seconds to fix it. Yeah. So... <clears throat> Would not recommend for that reason alone. <laughs> no, I would recommend it, but, I mean, that is just... Th that's the fucking height of laziness. Yes. Yeah. Because, I mean, like, it's there. It's right... Just, like, it fucking threw off my reading. Yeah. <clears throat> it's like, what? Well, yeah, because, you know... A question in quotation marks should not be followed by the word yes. Yeah. <laughs> Unless that is a character's name, in which case, awesome character. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah um, yeah, I just really like that end, that that ending. Like, just like, ooh, that's creepy. What is down there? <laughs> it leaves your mind to wander. Like, is it just the, is it her spirit or her or her reanimated corpse? Is it something posing as her? <clears throat> is it a devil or a, something or like a fake creature or something? Something in the ground. Yeah, no, I really enjoy it for that. Um, that one I definitely recommend, like, just like, oh, here, here's a link to, like, a five-second read. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I would recommend it, too, just because, yeah, I mean, I've recommended worse ones because they were <laughs> short and, you know, Smart you got enough confident. bang out of your buck <laughs> yeah. to uh, compensate. But this one, actually, yeah, it has, it's a good impact. <clears throat> yeah. Mikey? I'm glad I found it this morning. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so are we, apparently. Because <laughs> the ones I found were shit. <laughs> uh, hmm. Yeah. Yeah, there definitely needs to be more St. Patrick's Day creepypastas. Or just more like... Just, huh? I'd like to see one <laughs> that's like actually like set on St. Patrick's Day, is themed around it, and is actually good. But then again, that's like wishing for the moon sometimes. <laughs> Or you just watch Leprechaun movies. That's true. <laughs> what if I don't want to like spend like an hour and a half watching Leprechaun movies? What if I just want to like sit down? And well, watch? then again, just fucking suck it up, Sally, uh, <laughs> or you, quit your bitching. Would you rather spend an hour and a half reading a story that was made just for you <laughs> about? Yes, he would. Say yes. Day. Don't ask these <laughs> questions. Yes, <laughs> very yes. <laughs> Get it on that, readers. <laughs> No. Um, <laughs> our listeners. <laughs> yes. People are reading wow. to this right now. Oh, <laughs> uh, this is going to be a very silly episode. <laughs> it wasn't already. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, it's... it's That one, Sarah Obana was succinct. Got the punch in. Much like this episode is probably going to be, it, it, it just goes through and then, boom, done. <laughs> <laughs> Save the best for last. Yeah, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was definitely the dessert of this pasta meal. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Everything else was mediocre. Too bland. <laughs> or not what it should have been. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's like you ordered you ordered uh, uh, fettuccine Alfredo and you got spaghetti. Just plain, plain spaghetti. <laughs> no sauce at all. <laughs> or a sponge. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or nothing. <laughs> you waited for, uh, t ten hour or ten minutes. Water. <laughs> yeah, you got a, yeah you got a glass of water and a loaf of bread. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so I would definitely recommend Sarah O'Bannon. Um, thank you, Mikey, for <laughs> recommending picking that up one. the ball that was so <laughs> obviously dropped. Yeah, yeah. I I, I apologize. I like how I blame him, whereas at least he, you know, gave some ideas of something to read, and I didn't come up with anything to read. Yeah, <laughs> you get to be mad at. Yeah, what the fuck. <laughs> 
<laughs> anyway, whatever. Um, the major of our friendship. Apparently. <laughs> I hope this was entertaining to the listeners. <laughs> well, we knocked a four out of the park. Yeah. Technically, so it's... Four out of all the infinite ones. <laughs> and it does also show that, like... I mean, out of that seeming pile that is the bad the bad ones, you do occasionally find a golden nugget that is Sarah O'Bannon. <laughs> and we have done the, we have found them in the show, but mm-hmm. yeah, as a new person, you're, you're getting like kind of a, a rushed version of like our experience. <laughs> um, so yeah, I guess that's this week's episode. So if nobody else has anything to say. Again, I have lots of things to say. But... Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> I will reserve them for later. Uh, for off camera, no. Um, Fuck yeah. you, Coppice. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> you will not censor me. <laughs> I will not be detained. Anyways. Uh, we hope you enjoyed this episode. Um, happy uh, St. Patty's and... Get on that drinking. Drink responsibly, though. Uh, uh, and um, if you like what you heard, if you didn't, if you're like, cultists, get your shit together and do some more. Uh, actually, dig a little bit harder next time. Um, you can comment in the comment section below where this gets posted, whether it be on Kiwi6, Tumblr, Facebook, Twitter. Uh, me and Dr. Leviathan are both on that at Review Cultist and Dr. Leviathan. <clears throat> and you can uh, uh, leave us a review on iTunes. <clears throat> Let us know how we're doing. You can also send us an email at aldente rigamortis at gmail.com. That's A L D E N T E R I G A M O R T I S at gmail.com. Where you can also send us suggestions for other creepypastas you'd like us to discuss on the show. So, uh, oh, and you can also donate. If you go to crazonstudios.tumblr.com, you can check out all the title cards for each episode. And on the side, there's a little donate button. So, until next time, I have been your host, Review Cultist. I'm still Dr. Leviathan. And I'm Mikey. The E stands for evil. And this has been Al Dente Riga Mortis. Sleep well. You're being a dick, like you always are. <laughs> yeah, it's almost like I'm just a dick. So, if we had a big bowl of dolls that looked like you, it would be a big bowl of dicks. <laughs> Very handsome, a dick. <laughs> That's what you mean when you're <laughs> giving people bowls of dicks. Like, here's a whole bowl of dolls of a bee. No. <laughs> Just merchandising. <laughs> merchandising, merchandising. Where the real money for the movie is made. Yeah, just that's George Lucas. Yeah. It's George Lucas. Yeah. It's George Lucas. Yeah. It's George Lucas.